A while back, I did a little survey of how paper is used in the world of Star Trek, and I was thinking about other similar sorts of unexpected uses of old and supposedly outdated technologies in Star Trek. And there's one that's actually even more rare than paper, but just as fascinating. Glasses. Now, glasses are indeed quite uncommon in Star Trek's future, but they're not non-existent. In fact, we see them in the very first pilot episode of Star Trek. A transporter operator is pretty clearly seen wearing glasses. We also see a pair of glasses worn by a background character in the animated series. Glasses wouldn't show up again until Star Trek II, where McCoy gifts Kirk a pair of reading glasses because of Kirk's allergy to the medication Retinox 5. This finally gives us an explanation for the relative scarcity of glasses in the 23rd century. However, there are some who are sensitive to this treatment and therefore might use more antiquated solutions. Moving on, another prominent use of glasses is in Star Trek VI, where the Federation president uses a pair of unusual spectacles with lenses possibly specifically designed for his alien physiology. And this brings up an interesting point, that glasses are not a strictly human invention in Star Trek. Two Malkorians in the Next Generation episode First Contact are seen wearing glasses. Of course, it does stand to reason that human-like aliens would have human-like visual abnormalities, and the two species would likely solve them in similar ways. One additional appearance of glasses occurred in a deleted scene of Star Trek Insurrection, where a grumpy, bespectacled librarian shushes Riker and Troy who are carrying on in the Enterprise library. So, since it doesn't appear in the film, it's technically not canon, but it's an interesting little scene nonetheless. Now, of course, beyond corrective lenses, we see a number of uses of protective eyewear. Sunglasses apparently never go out of style all throughout the future history of Star Trek. As we see them in use in Enterprise, Deep Space Nine, and Voyager, they do also appear in The Next Generation, but as a costume accessory. Things like goggles and safety glasses also appear from time to time in Star Trek. Now, that might not be a completely exhaustive record of every use of glasses in Star Trek, but I think it's really fun to explore these little-known details that show that the world of Star Trek is sometimes a little more nuanced than we remember. Are there other things like this in Star Trek that I could explore? Wheeled vehicles, maybe? Robots? I don't know. Let me know if you think of something. But with that, I'd just like to thank all of you for watching, and I'll see you next time.